This is a 2016 Hyundai Veloster that just got traded in here at Garvey Hyundai. And today, Jess and Shauna are going to clean it. When somebody else trades in their car, they're not thinking about keeping it clean. They're thinking about their new car that they're going to get. Cleaning up their old trade-in so it's in perfect shape and ready for you to drive off the lot? Well, that falls to our amazing detail team at Garvey Hyundai. Meet Jess, our detail manager. Together with detailer Shauna, they are not just going to clean up this Veloster, but they are going to thoroughly detail it, a process that starts with taking out all the junk that the previous owner left in there. Once that's out, it's on to vacuuming. This isn't always the first step, but in this car's case, there is so much in here that it's worth taking care of that first layer of dry gunk first. Cars that don't come in with so much stuff inside get to start at the next step, which is loosening up any dirt and sand that's ground into the soft surfaces of the car. This can be with the air gun or tornado gun or with power tools. The point is that, especially in the carpet, other people have been stomping this in for years and it needs to be teased out of place. A foaming agent is also helpful for the more stubborn dirt. Once that's finally loosened up, it's time for a second round of vacuuming to get it out of the car for good. The touch surfaces of the car, like the door cards and the steering wheel, have had a few years of other people's hands on them. This necessitates a proper degreaser, brushed into the textured surfaces and wiped away. Just make sure to run the steering wheel through its adjustments, so that when a new driver gets in and adjusts it to their preference, they're not surprised by grime that would have otherwise been hiding there this whole time. Non-cloth seats get the same treatment for obvious reasons. Throughout this whole process, the air gun is used to dry off surfaces and keep chemicals from pooling in the seams. This is the process that probably takes the longest, even in a car as small as the Veloster. You don't realize how many individual surfaces there are, but our team does, and they make sure it's all clean before it drives off the lot. All of this is being done in the brand new detail facility, part of Garvey Hyundai's $5 million renovation. And don't worry, every cleaning solution that we use is ecologically friendly with no long-term effects on our local environment. Even when people do clean out their car before trading it in, they usually forget about the trunk liner, so Shauna's removing that to give it the full treatment. First, she vacuums out all the crumbs underneath. Then, it's time for the tornado gun to loosen up all the dirt, then a foaming agent and the power brush to scrub it all out. Another round of the tornado gun gets all of that foam residue blasted out of the carpet. That done, Shauna starts to work her way towards the exterior of the car. Hatchbacks especially can trap a lot of grime in odd places, so she makes sure to clean under the seal so that that can't build up. Jess joins in, getting the parts of the body that are hidden when the doors are closed. Remember what I said about dirt getting stomped into the carpet? That goes triple for the driver's floor mat. It gets all the treatments we've seen so far a couple times over to really make sure it's ready for its new driver. Finally, it's time for the exterior proper. Jess gets started on the wheels, starting with an application of the degreaser and an acid-based cleaner. Multiple brushes are used to scrub every surface of the wheel, so there's no chance of grime hiding somewhere. It's then sprayed down, revealing the original finish of the wheel. While Jess works on that, Shauna is clearing out the worst of the buildup in the engine bay. The air gun blows the debris out of the bay, then a degreaser, and then a rinse, then another spray with the air gun to dry everything back off. Finally, everything is wiped down by hand. And now it's finally time for the exterior body panels. Jess rinses the car down first, then Shauna goes to work with a quick application of two different chemicals, more conventional soap and our favorite, the degreaser. Both of them together helping to loosen brake dust, road grime, insects, and anything else that's built up over the last 48,000 miles and may or may not have been taken care of in the meantime. Then they go to town, scrubbing the whole car down before it's rinsed off again. Shauna comes in with a spray wax that not just shines up the car, but helps water bead off so that it's easier to dry. Then, Jess rinses again, this time with a more gentle flow to keep from blasting off the coating before it's had the chance to set in. To finish up, Shauna dries the car off with a cloth while Jess uses the air gun to blast accumulated water and chemicals out of all the seams of the vehicle. The body panels are clean and we're almost done. For the final touch, Shauna cleans all the glass surfaces, getting rid of the usual grime as well as clearing away the last of the cleaning chemicals, while Jess affixes the dealership's decals to the car. And finally, barely two hours after they started, this Veloster is ready to hit the lot. Every car that gets traded in goes through this process. 
some need it more than others, but when Jess, Shauna, and the rest of the team are done, we end up with a vehicle that we are proud to put up for sale. To check out their work and take this Veloster or any other vehicle they've cleaned for a test drive, just give us a call, go online, or stop into Garvey Hyundai today.